Sweet, so, what's up guys? Welcome to an After Effects tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the tracking system, which is down, not here. It's there, the tracker tool. And I'm going to show you how to use that to actually uh, improve uh, time when animating lightning. So, we're going to go ahead and drag our footage here that I just recorded recently. Uh, drag it, kicking and screaming, down onto the timeline. Alright, we have our footage. There's me. There's my hand, my TV, my wonderful TV, the Xbox. <laughs> so, uh, and then of course my nice shirt, which I need to iron, is hanging up. Uh, ready for me to use when I need that. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go ahead and go to Effects Controls tab. And uh, right click. Generate. Advanced lightning let me just look real quick L. oh it looks like they took out the old uh yeah it looks like they took out the old lightning so uh i guess it'll be advanced lightning from here on out for everybody uh sorry for those of you guys who liked it because you know i i actually would have probably used it here and there for a few things oh well but anyway let's go ahead and uh check the composite on original box and uh as we, as you can see here, it's uh, now it's now it looks nice. <laughs> it's on our video. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust some of the core settings here. Maybe bring up the size a little bit. Uh, bring down the glow radius, a tad, and then set it to the color I like. I don't like the default color. I like this color. There we go. That that's that's a better for me. I like that better for lightning. Alright, so now that we've got our uh, settings set, haha, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and um, let's actually go ahead and just do the tracking now. So I'm going to make a new null object. <clears throat> and this is when I'm going to have my lightning begin track. Um, so let's go ahead and do tracker. Let's select our footage right over here. Man, I should have set the tracking speed for the screen a quarter faster. All right, so let's go ahead and track motion, and then we will set our begin point. Eh. There. Ooh, hello. That got really big. Okay, let's go ahead and set the begin point to actually track my index finger there. Now let me size it down a little bit. There. So we'll go ahead and track forward. And see what we get. Oh wait, I almost haha. <laughs> see what I mean? I forgot that I took my hand out of the shot. So let's bring my hand back up. All right, here we go. Here is where my hand that opens up, and I can go ahead and start from just right there. Oops. I need to actually grab. My goodness, this is very difficult. Okay. Dang it. There we go. Okay. I have. There. All right. Now we'll go ahead and track my finger. <laughs> that that was hard. Okay. There. Now we've got all these empty keyframes. I don't really need these, but you know what? They don't matter because I'm going to track from here on out, and I'm only going to use that footage. So uh, let's let it track my finger for a bit. It's a little slower because I accidentally made the area too big. It's trying to track a lot, even though there's only one thing to concentrate on. But, uh, you know, I guess, you know, accuracy, yay. Um, so, let me actually, I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and size it back. Hello, you know what? Uh, reset. Wonderful button right there, reset. I should have used that first. All right, so. Go ahead and size our uh, tracking area here, and then we'll find. There we go. There's my finger. Actually, let me come back to where I open my hand again. Right about there. That's when I. That's when my hand is first fully opened. Grab my finger and yeah, pull my finger. There. See, much faster, and it sticks with our finger or my finger, whatever. So I'll go ahead and go forward a little bit. 
actually hoping that this works because I haven't tried this, but with uh, with how much I've played with After Effects, it should work. And if it doesn't work, I'll be very upset. So I'll go ahead and uh, stop it here. <laughs> so it tracks my finger, as you can see. Here's all that blah, 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 blah. All that nonsense. Let's go ahead and select our null object. Come over to the tracker thing and then hit apply. And since this is only 2D, we're going to go ahead and do X and Y. So now our null object will follow my finger very nicely. And let's go ahead and uh, open it up actually. And go to, actually, let's just grab null and then hit P for position. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we'll bring down, we'll click on our footage, and then we'll go to, uh, here we go. This is the advanced lighting. Let's make it a stripe. And uh, so origin is where it shoots from, which is this point right here. And uh, direction is where it hits, which is this last point where the lightning you know, stops. So I'm going to go ahead and grab origin. I'm going to alt click. And let's go ahead and uh, where is it? okay down here in the timeline go ahead and grab the expression pick whip and go to position Ta -da. All right so let's hope and ta-da we have a wonderful effect done where we actually do not have to animate at all our our lightning our beginning lightning now we can also use the same principle. See, it follows my finger. Let me go ahead and uh, shrink our composition over just this area right here. So I might actually be able to hit zero on the on my numpad and just kind of pre-render it real quick. And as you can see, there you go. It follows my finger very nicely. And um, there we go. So it's following my finger continuously. And. Uh, there you go, so now we don't have to animate the start position of our lightning. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play with it now. See, now we can animate the, 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 what is it, the direction of our lightning. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, I'm just gonna zap this little thing sticking out of that box right there I've got. And I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, play with some of the, I don't know, some of the advanced settings. Yeah, show off my skills of lightning miss I guess I don't know. Ooh, 10 is way too much I like 7 actually I think that 7 is well actually on a video this small I think I'll try 5 no definitely not 5 6 alright so 6 is a good uh, complexity let's bring down the fork distance get a little bit more forking in there um, bring up the core drain no we don't want that actually well maybe a little bit just a tad uh, fork strength, not that. Actually, let's bring that down, if any. No, let's bring it up. Fork variation. Uh, all the way down, I guess. I don't know. Actually, let me see what all the way it does. I think I'll actually leave it at 50. I'm close to it, anyway. Alright, bring the core drain away. And then, where is it? I know I can do this. Uh, fork strength, let's bring that up, and then I guess decay, I think is what I, there we go, decay. So that way we decay the forks, let's bring down the fork distance. Fork strength up a little bit, uh, down, I don't know, up. Fork vari variation down, forking, we want that to be a lot. Bring the fork variation all the way up actually. That'll be better. Let's go ahead and go back a little bit in our timeline so I can see the lightning a little bit better. Here, that's where I can see it best. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring down the core drain. I don't want it. I don't want it. All right. Okay. Ooh, wow, that was way too much. All right. I'm gonna bring the forking up a little bit more. There we go. That's that's where that's where it's at. There we go. About 95 is where I like my forking. Oh. Uh, with the fork variations. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna leave it at 100 again. Termination thresh. What does that mean? Yeah, I can never tell what that does. I'll just leave it at 100 because I don't know what it does. <laughs> Bringing up the turbulence a bit. 
Actually, let's bring it down. Let's see what that does. Eh, that looks nice. All right, so there you have it. Uh, automatically self-animating lightning. All we had to do was track our uh, our subject's hand and uh, let the program take it from there. So uh, there you go. There's your tutorial on advanced lightning. Uh, you can go ahead and play with the other settings yourself if you want the style of lightning the way you want it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, the next time that I make a tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.